I Polly. Welcome back to another episode of I and I Polly. Today, Anthony and I will be your hosts. So for our first segment, Leah has borrowed two freshmen to see how good their memory is. I wonder what that's all about. Hello, welcome back to another Fresh Enough. Today, we're seeing if our freshmen can successfully take Mr. West's order and bring it all the way back here to campus from Starbucks. Let's see how our freshmen do. All right, guys, so today you're going to find Mr. West's office, take his order, go to Starbucks, and get the order and bring it back to him. Are you guys ready? Okay, start. Why are they submitting you to this torture? <laughs> Here's my order from Fresh Enough. Let's see how it worked out. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Did they get it wrong? Uh, a little. What they, are the steps they, that they missed? They missed some of the important things. The important thing for coffee for me is the add shot. It's even a shot of espresso, and it does not have that. The other thing that is very telling is it has way too much sugar, which is why I asked for only one pump of mocha instead of six that they normally put, and it feels like they put 600 in there. But other than that, they got the no whipped cream. Yay! That has been another Fresh Enough. Good job, freshmen. Back to you, news desk. Wow, that was interesting. 
It's almost time for the Super Bowl. I wonder who's going to win. Let's see what the school thinks. The Super Bowl is coming in a few weeks. So, we asked some people who they think will win in the past two weeks. So, for week one, we didn't have any interviews, but we did ask some people. These are the predictions they gave. Now, for week two, we have the interviews. Hello, I'm here with... Mr. Daly. Who do you think is going to win between the Jaguars and the Chiefs? Uh, Doug Peterson's Jaguars. What about the Bengals and the Bills? Uh, I got to go with the Bills. Um, and then the Eagles and the Giants? Eagles all the way. Fly, Eagles, fly. On the road to victory. <laughs> okay, what about the Niners and the Cowboys? <sighs> well, I kind of want the Cowboys because I think the Eagles are going to be able to beat them easier because I think the 49ers are better, but I think it's going to be the 49ers. All right, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Eagles. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Day. All right, hello, I'm here with... Eddie. Eddie, who do you think is going to win between the Jaguars and the Chiefs? The Jaguars. The Bengals and the Bills? The Bengals. On um, the Eagles versus the Giants? The Eagles. And then the Niners versus the Cowboys? The Cowboys. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. All right, thank you. All right, hello, I'm here with... Seabass. Who thinks they're going to win between the Jaguars and the Chiefs? Uh, Chiefs. The Bills versus the Bengals? Bills. The Eagles versus the Giants? Eagles. And the Cowboys versus the Niners? Niners. Who thinks they're going to win the Super Bowl? Eagles. All right, thank you. No problem. That's all we have for these two weeks. We'll be coming out with another segment shortly following in the next few episodes. And that's all. Thank you. Back to new stats. Do you know that I haven't actually watched an NFL game this season? I hope the Rams win. <laughs> uh, actually, they were eliminated from playoff contention. Oh, okay. Anyways, in our next segment, we're not done talking about the freshmen just yet. Let's find out what the houses have in store for us for this semester's project. Okay, so with the new semester comes a new semester project for our iPoly freshmen. So we're going to be interviewing some freshmen and teachers and ask them about it. All right, so we're here with the adorable... Julian. Penny. Uh, Garasa. Ryan. Okay, so Ryan, what house did you get second semester, and what topic did you get for your project? Uh, my house is West House, which is human rights, and my topic is domestic violence. Okay, so was that uh, your first choice for a topic? Yes, sir. All right, so what, what have you learned about your topic of domestic violence so far, Ryan? So it's pretty much like a serious issue that goes on internationally, but it's pretty much when a married couple or just a couple in general uh, physically hurts each other or verbally or just a bunch of different reasons, but it's pretty much just toxic and not good. Right, okay, so would you say that you enjoy learning about your topic, and would you say that you're enjoying your house and the people in it? Uh, I like to be educated on my topic, so yeah, I like it. And then I'm also liking my house because it has some good people in it. All right, man, that's it. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Uh, I got North House and I got HIV AIDS. Okay, was that your first choice for a topic? Uh, yeah. Okay, so um, can you tell us a little bit about what you've learned about AIDS? It's a sexually transmitted disease and it'll mess up your immune system in uh, some ways. Okay, uh, so would you say that you enjoy learning about your topic? And also would you say that you enjoy your house and the people in it? Uh, very much so, especially my group. All right, that's it, man. Thank you. I got West House, and the topic I got was women's rights. Oh, was that your first choice? No. All right, that's tough. Um, so what exactly does women's rights entail for this project? Like, what are you going to be learning, and what have you learned so far? I haven't learned anything so far. I haven't done much research, but I'm going to be learning about the work rights. All right, so how would you say you enjoy learning about your topic, and also how would you say you enjoy your new house? Well, women's rights was my first choice, but even though it was my first choice, I'm still going to... I know I'm still going to enjoy learning new things about them, the work rights, and I feel like I really like my house. All right, that's great. That's all you need. Thank you. My house is global pandemics. Okay, so what exactly does that entail for this project when you say your house is global pandemics? So uh, over the course of our boot camp week, which was two weeks ago now, we studied various global pandemics, epidemics, and outbreaks throughout history, like, for example, smallpox, um, malaria, Ebola and COVID-19, the Spanish flu. So we're kind of looking at every sort of disease that you can think of. Yeah, global pandemics, yeah, I was in global pandemics uh, freshman year. Were you, what was your topic? Um, it was about like climate change and how that affects disease. But like enough about that, like how would you say you like your house? 
Um, I love my house so much. I'm very interested in this topic. I think it's a cool combination of science and humanities, specifically with my students, do you mean? They know that I love them. They're a wonderful group of students, and they're all really passionate about this subject. And so it's been really cool to have um, an entire week with them where they are just showing how excited they are, how interested they are, and also they are approaching this kind of tough topic with real empathy. So I've been loving it. Okay, yeah, that's great. Um, so can you tell us a little bit more about the project? Yeah, so our project is, um, there are many components. One of the big ones that we're working on right now is the research paper. So every student, as you probably remember, has a topic um, that they're going to research in a 500-word maximum paper. Then they'll be doing the quilt patch, which you can see behind you. We have a blackout poem for English class, and we'll finally be creating a short film that's a recreation of a scene from a famous film that involves their topic. Yeah, I remember doing the film. I had to make a scene from The Matrix. That's so fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Okay, um, so thank you, Ms. Carraza. That's all we need. Thank you. Okay. Thanks to all the wonderful people who let us interview them. All right, now back to News Desk. I remember when I was a freshman, too. Oh, how time flies. Yeah, me too. When did you a freshman last year? Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, that's it for this episode. Stand by for the upcoming new episodes that are releasing this semester. This has been your I and I Polly.